Well, it's the 25th of February, about 3.30 in the afternoon, and apparently the Russian tanks are going to enter the centre at any moment. Myself and Johnny are going to head down to the railway station and uh, try and get ourselves out of the city somewhere safer. It's just so surreal to think that in another part of this city, people are being shot, run over with tanks, there's fighting. And yet here in the very centre, you'd have no idea. It's obviously much, much quieter than it usually is on a Friday, I think it is. But you'd never know that something was going on just, well, just what? A few metro stops from here. Hopefully, the metro is still running. We actually have no idea. Let's see. You work today, right? Okay. It's free, right? Okay. It's free, right? So the transport is free, um, just to, I suppose, help people move across to the city or to leave the city if they need to. Where are we? Yeah. So hopefully we can actually get out of Kiev now. I took Johnny's rational advice to um, try and get out of the city today before it's too late, because if you don't leave today, once the tanks get here, who knows what happens to transport links, the airport's already bombed. Um, who knows what happens to railway routes, bus routes, roads. So um, yeah. yeah, I think it's a case of either we leave today or we wouldn't be leaving for a long, long time. So anyway, yeah. let's get to the railway station and see if we can get on the train. I'm sure there's many people there trying to get out of the city. So hopefully, um, yeah, there's places for everybody. Yeah. This may be the last train out of Kiev. Yeah, yeah, quite possibly. There are just people down here with their suitcases and their luggage, obviously, got the same idea as me and Johnny, which is to somehow get out of here, or some people will be sheltering from the inevitable bombings. I suppose that's going to come at some point. We've even got a little cat with them in a box. Oh wow. sad to see little children with their parents just hanging around. Terrible. What do you reckon, Johnny? Let's go into the ticket office and see. Try and find some information. Wow, just the queues. Check it out. Am I on? Ah, Lviv, Lviv, Lviv. Mahmoud Lviv. Right there. This is really hard to know which train is going, which one is coming. If we need a ticket, if we don't need a ticket. Is it a problem? Yes, we should be letting you know. Do you know if it's a problem or not? There's a train leaving in half an hour down to the Romanian border. So we're going to see if we can't get on it. Track 5 up here. Vinita. Piatti, 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 Piatti. Piatti, Piatti. 
Wow. Look at it, it's like something from a war movie, 1939 or something. People trying to escape the city before the inevitable invasion. Wow, check it out. Hundreds and hundreds of people trying to get out of here. People with children, people with cats and dogs, babushkas. How terribly sad. No, 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 we've asked. This guy has a ticket for sale, but only one. We've met a chap on the platform who's got one ticket and said he's going to speak to the Provodnitsa, the lady who looks after each compartment, to see if we can go with him. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Maybe we can just be in the corridor or we can sit in the toilet or something. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. But um, people seem in good spirits. There's no panic here. You know, Ukrainian people are very stoic. And um, yeah, there's no panic here. People scrambling to get in front of each other for the train. It's People are relaxed, but um, obviously nervous as well. Are we? Why did you Ukrainian. leave earlier? Because Johnson Slava. was just shouting everyone. <laughs> I know, but why did you leave earlier? We just thought that we would stay, and I don't know that it wouldn't be possible to leave. We thought there were no trains, no buses. And then we said, okay, let's go and look at the railway station seat. And no vote, yes, Robert. No, me near Jedal yet. Me don't make sure that you won't be able to do it. Yesterday we were sure that if they come, just that would be wild. Right. But today we see. You realised. They're in Obolon now, apparently, fighting in Obolon. It will be hell. You think so? Terrible. Terrible. Crack. Yeah, because uh, today just, just, just the key of me just distributed 20,000 items of Kalashnika. They have lots of Germans here around. So oh, it's going to be a bloodbath. Right. Yeah. As soon as those tanks come into the centre, people will just be on top of the buildings. Oh, So the air attack sirens are going off on the city. So everyone's coming under the roof just in case something comes down or something. The Provodnitsa um, is a real hero because she lets so many people on with kids and women who didn't have tickets and was like, come on, get on. Um, so yeah, she deserves like some kind of medal or something in the future for what she did just then. Amazing people here in the Ukraine. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. I'm shocked we, we made it on. We may have really yeah. see how this journey goes though. Yeah. Bye bye Kiev. And good luck.
he we've know met to on the train the a couple of legends <laughs> who were travelling. They don't know where they're going either. They just jumped <laughs> on this train. They're like, okay, let's get out of Kiev. I think that was everyone's plan, basically, just escape. And now he's stolen my beer. <laughs> like, hey, me, man. hey, come on. He said, are you Russian? <laughs> I said, no, but I speak crush. He said, well, give me your beer. <laughs> That's what happened. And now he's just drinking it, helping himself. Yeah, of course. It like a, lot, a, lot, a lot of people in Russia, because so, it's one madman and maybe some team that's supporting him, but it's not the whole country. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of protests in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. Russia. That but says, they don't want to also the, hmm? But people there are also controlled. So they hate him, but there's not much they can do. Yes, it's like in Belarus as well. With yeah, Lukashenko, yeah. absolutely the same. What do you do in this situation? Why all the world like this? They like we, we are supporting you, but they do nothing. Because if they involve themselves militarily, then it could really escalate and become like maybe even a bigger war. That's what people are afraid of. Yeah. That it becomes a European war, and then who knows? America gets involved. It's a world war. Yes, it is. Like and so, unfortunately, we say like we support you, we support you, but really, we're not willing to support you militarily. <laughs> I'm going to try some Ukrainian Nalivka. Nalivka, which is alcohol, sweet alcohol. Not this. This is not this. That's just fuzzy drink. It's just fuzzy drink. It's a children's alcoholic drink. Children in Ukraine are so tough. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying. Try some Nalivka. Nalivka. Nalivai Nalivka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's Nalivka. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Enjoy it. Come on, we're doing it's the like apple juice. juice. It's uh... <laughs> That's gonna be a good footage. You know? Oh, I like it. <laughs> I've been given I need, I need some Velo um, <laughs> nicotine, which is now... <laughs> She's trying to turn me into a nicotine Velo addict. But um, let's see what happens. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah. What lovely yeah, people on the... It's only for uh, 80 ages consumers. Did you 80 really? ages? Uh, eight, eight, 18, 18, 18, sorry. Am I older or younger than 18? What do you think? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I sleep one hour. Okay. Oh, gosh, right. So I, I don't remember 18, it's old or 18. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. remember. I don't remember the difference because oh between 18 and I think she's saying I'm 80. 80. Are you saying I'm 80? <laughs> different here than it does in Kiev, much more peaceful. I mean, we feel like a, a thousand miles away from the war, and in a sense we are. I mean, these little villages, we're in the pretty mountains of the Carpathian region. Well, what do you reckon, Johnny? Yeah, I, I was here for Drago, Drago brought the, the ski resorts, and yeah, the Carpathian people are tough people, so we're going to be good. Давай. Well, we made it on the Refugee Express. The cats, the dogs, the babies, the children, the mums, the dads, the babushkas, the jedishkas, Johnny, me. We've made it. Yeah? Ushgorod, brad. Da, Ushgorod. Давайте, давайте. Давай. Все. 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 Все.
You travel in style when you try and escape Ukraine. Check it out. A real Soviet elektrichka. This is this is um, unchanged in Soviet times. This train. Wow, look at it. Well, although we've not crossed the border into Hungary yet, it already feels like we're there. This part of Ukraine was taken from Hungary by the Soviet Union, and the houses that we're passing, the villages, the people, the language here in Ukraine and this part of Ukraine is Hungarian. The signposts are all written in Hungarian. It shows you just how varied. Ukraine is. Wow, look at it. Yeah. So we've had a change of plan. We've come to the town of Chop on the border with Hungary. Let's go and see if we can get across the border. See what the queues are like. Or if maybe none at all. Wow, look. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Wow, check it out. So we're queuing up here to buy a ticket across the border on the train, and then after we bought the ticket, we queue up. Well, later on today, at the um, exit gate, basically here, and um, yeah, cross into Hungary, fingers crossed. And these are all the refugees that are leaving Ukraine, going to Hungary. Look, how many people are here? A lot of people. You realise you are also a refugee now, right? I'm a refugee, yeah, I'm officially a refugee. Going back to, um, well, I'm going back to a comfortable life in Prague, so I can't complain too much. But, uh, I don't know what's happening to some of the other people that are leaving everything behind. Ми можемо виїхати, мене випустять за кордон, якщо я з дитиною без матері, бо мати в Харкові. Одну до Венгрії, пожалуйста, один білет. Паспорт вам нужен? Спасибо. Вау. Ага. Тикет до Хангрі. There are like fights breaking out down the front by the at the front of the queue. People trying to get in. People desperate to leave Ukraine, basically. Hundreds of people now in this hall just filling up in this queue to get out of here. They've opened the doors again. Let's see if we get in. Wow. It's going to be a struggle. Guys, we are now in Hungary. 